I'm going to start off my painting with um, a warm background. This is raw sienna. I thought it was yellow ochre, but it's not. Um, I just wanted something warm and kind of neutral for the background. Since there's a lot of dark shadowy areas, I thought this would balance it out. And I thought it also would be a nice color that might pop through in some spots. So I would go with like a warm yellow neutral type color, brown, I guess this might be. And I'm gonna let it dry, of course, and then I will sketch my composition. I'm gonna go in with some Payne's Gray and sort of map out a little bit of a composition. Just a little bit. Payne's Gray, Hansi Yellow. The colors are pretty muted in this photo. So I'm gonna try to just kind of follow that. Although there's some warmth, so I'm gonna put a little primary magenta in here. And make my horizon line about right here. Maybe it could be a little higher. And my road. And I'm just going to go in a little thicker at the horizon. A little more red. And what I'm going to do really is just look for the big shapes. So the first shape was my dividing my sky and my land. And then the second shape I put in here is the road. But I'm just loosely following the colors that I see when I'm squinting my eyes. And um, now I'm going to look for some big shapes in the sky. I'm going to probably add a little bit of white to my palette. I'm using the same brush. It's making a weird kind of green color, but I think that's going to be fine. And I have a big, dark mass of clouds at the top. One coming in like this, right? So these are my darker cloudy areas. I also have a darker cloudy area in here. And then I have some smaller shapes. Actually, I forgot this. This kind of dark area as well. And then a much lighter mass of clouds in the middle. And then it's pretty bright in here. That'll be pretty bright, and there's a bright patch 
right here. And so basically this is gonna be my little map. And I'm going to, I'm gonna to start to fill this in um, with big shapes first and then adding smaller details. So I'm gonna take some Payne's Gray. This is a little bluer than I want right now. So I'm gonna take a little yellow and a little red, a little more red, mix it in and try to turn it a little bit more gray. Payne's Gray is basically a blue, so by mixing in some orange, I can really desaturate that and get more of a gray color. And I'm gonna just start to put down some thin layers of paint in that dark cloudy area. I'm not worried yet about the smaller shapes that are within the clouds. I just want to kind of get most of that mass blocked in. And then if there are any light spots popping through, I can add those on top. I'm going to put in a little bit more white because it does start to lighten up a little. Trying to keep my shapes pretty loose and hopefully organic. Shouldn't have any like real straight lines or edges that are too clean just yet. I'm just going to start to slowly add in a little bit more white. And start to get in some of the lighter values. But actually more medium, I would say. Not quite the light, light ones yet. Still want these to be very gray. I'm just kind of scrubbing with my brush, which is completely falling apart here. Um, it's a size four bright brush. I kind of forgot the darker patch right here. Just kind of putting this in while it's still, the paint is still wet on my palette. If your paint's drying up on you, just spritz it with a little bit of water. Not worried about the little details yet. I just want to kind of block everything in. I 
And then I'll start to add some details. Or not, I might end up liking it. We'll see. I'm sure there'll be some things I want to change. I'm not over mixing the gray. So you, like, even though I um, was making a lighter gray, there's still some variation within that. And I do think that will be helpful. I'm gonna start to change the gray, the gray a little bit, just so I get some shifts in color in the sky. So adding in a little bit of yellow to kind of push it to more of a green gray. Remember, you don't always have to follow the colors exactly in the photo. A little more paint and gray. Just adding in a little blue to this gray here. So it does start to get a little bluer closer to the horizon line. I'm gonna actually push that more blue with my ultramarine. Gets a little lighter. pretty light up here and there's a white whitish cloud that I haven't put in yet I'm gonna wait till everything's dry to do that and I'm just gonna Block in a couple more of these little spots that I see poking through just with the lighter paint that's already here on my palette, just for a little bit of variety. And then I'm going to take my same brush and I'm going to mix more of a green color. Gonna put a little bit of red in there. And I'm gonna start to block in these greener areas here. Gonna mix in a little bit of yellow along the road. I see a little bit of yellow in the distance. And then it gets reddish yellow as we get closer to this part of the painting here. 
I'll just push it a little bit lighter. And I do see some light patches. I'm not painting every single little shrub. I'm just sort of representing them with um, a longer, smoother brush stroke. Try not to get caught up in every detail. You can always add more in later. And just start off by, um, I guess, chunking what you see into shapes. Do the same thing on this side. I'm sort of creating some lines because that's what I see in the photo when I'm putting everything chunking everything together into a single shape. And then it gets a little bit darker. And then a little bit lighter along the road. Sort of reddish a little bit toward the back. I'm going to just put in a little bit of red and then push it back with a little bit of Payne's Gray here. I didn't mean to do that, but I'll just leave it for right now. I don't want to fuss with it too much. I actually do want to kind of push this red back a little bit. There. All right. Now for the road. Gonna mix more gray. Hopefully it'll look a little different than the clouds. So I'll scrape up a little red and yellow from my palette. I'm gonna put a little ultramarine blue in here just to change it up a little. And I do need this to be lighter. I think that's maybe a little too dark. looks a little darker further back. 
can kind of see some marks on the road where there is a little bit of variation in color. So I wanna make sure that my road has a little bit of variation in color. A little darker. And then I'm gonna pick up a little bit more of the white I think that's pretty good. I'll go in maybe, probably with the lines on the street. I'm not really sure yet. I wanna make sure I get the bottom edge of the canvas here. All right, I am going to let this layer dry completely. And then I'm going to go back and work on my sky. All right, while the land part is drying, I am going to switch to a bigger brush um, and try to get some nice loose brush strokes like I did down here in the land. This one is a number eight bright. And I'm just scraping up some of the gray down here that I already mixed and adding it to my white. And this is kind of a lighter value. So I'm gonna use it in the areas that are not quite the brightest and not quite the dullest either. And I'm not going to try to shape every cloud the exact same way that I see it because I would drive myself insane. So instead, what I'm trying to do is just match the value. So wherever I see where this color belongs or this value belongs, I'm going to try to just put in some looser marks in those areas. You want to make sure with clouds that you're keeping the shadow. I think I made this too big, so I'm gonna try to push this back a little and make the shape a little more organic.
I'll try to go just a little darker. In the photo, this dark cloud almost runs into this dark cloud. And I lost some of my darkness, so I'm going to add it back in. It's my Payne's Gray. Payne's Gray. I think I need all my colors actually. A little yellow, primary magenta, just change the color of this a little. A couple of these really dramatically dark spots in the sky. With the clouds, I'm just trying to work them into something that resembles clouds, just kind of like what I do when I'm painting flowers. There's um, a lot of layering that happens. You gotta push through the awkward stage until you finally get something that you're happy with. And I don't know if I'm happy with that corner, but I'm going to leave it. Experience has taught me to work the whole canvas instead of just getting stuck on one part and fussing on that one part. When you come back to it later, you might realize that it's done to the level that you need it to be done as long as it flows with the rest of the painting, if that makes any sense. I know for me anyway, I fuss over things that don't need to be fussed over. And I'm trying, I'm slowly starting to catch myself doing that and learning to move on.
I'm just going to darken up this a little and then I think what I'll do is move into lighter paint and do some highlights. I'm going to keep using the same brush though and see how that works out. If I need a clean brush, I can switch. I'm just going to kind of wipe off some excess paint. I don't want too much paint on my brush. I think that might. I don't know, it might not be light enough. I'm just going to go with it for now. I'm trying to just kind of glance back and forth at the photo. And then when I look back, I feel like my clouds are a mess compared to the photo. <laughs> so we'll see what happens. Don't give up. Just keep working it. If it doesn't work out, just paint flowers over it. <laughs> That's my motto. Just trying to do a little back and forth between the gray and the lighter gray. think I think I might need to let it dry for a minute and kind of step away I think I need fresh eyes to look at this and see what I'm doing I'm just gonna push this back a little I feel like it's starting to come along now, but I think um, I think stepping back and looking at it from across the room, I'm going to put it up on my easel and get a different perspective. 
and see um, what else I think it needs. Okay, everything is dry now. Um, I think what I need to do is just push back some of these gray, these dark gray areas and then add some nice bright white details. So my paint dried up on me a little. Just gonna use a little Payne's Gray, I think. I'm just gonna kinda go in here a little gently and just make this area a little smaller. The dark area a little smaller. I also think it looks better when it's a little uneven. It, it had too much of a, um, like a straight angle. It still has the angle, but it wasn't, I don't know, something about it was too straight. Push this area back a little as well. And I'm going to put some real light clouds down here and maybe a couple of pops of clouds at the top as well. I'm just, um, I think the top part of the painting is fine. But I'm just going to put in a couple of brush marks to add some details. Totally not necessary, but I like to fuss, so. I kind of, I like this dark area, so I'm going to just be really careful up here. I think I need to stop because I can feel myself just kind of overdoing it here um, with the clouds. I am going to switch to that brush that I was using in the beginning. I just rinsed it off a little. It's still kind of wet. I'm going to wipe it on my paper towel. This was the number four bright. I'm gonna just put, um, I don't think I'm gonna do the middle yellow lines, but it's probably a bad choice for a brush. I'm gonna just kind of I put in the, um, 
the street line a little. I don't know. I'm just going to leave that for right now. And then I'm going to take some white. and get that brighter cloud in here. And same over here. And you know what, I'm gonna take a clean brush now. Just a small one. This one's a flat brush size two. I'm gonna get some clean white paint and just kind of go over the white. Oh, too much, too much. Go over the white again a little bit so that it really pops out. And there's a couple of spots in the sky that are kind of bright. Putting too much paint on. A little more in here um, and then I'm pretty much done I'm gonna stop myself because I feel like as always I could keep painting forever I thought I would just do I don't know a couple of bright pops in the landscape I don't think I really like that. I'm gonna smooth it out a little. Kinda paint over it. I just felt like the land needed a couple more details. I mean, it probably didn't, but. I like how some of that, um, what color did I use? Raw Sienna is popping through at points in the sky. I think that was a good color choice. Um, might be fun to do something like a pink next time. We'll see. I was gonna touch up the sides. 
And yeah, I, I'm gonna say this one is finished. This was fun, I hope you enjoyed it. I'll make sure that I attach the reference photo to the post. Feel free to use it. The reference photo is from unsplash.com. It's where I get a lot of my reference photos. And of course, um, please post your painting in the Facebook group if you feel comfortable doing that. I love when I see your paintings popping up in there or of course, always tag me on Instagram as well if you uh, would like. And that's it. I think I am finished. Thanks for watching.